Yes, this is Yogi speaking. Personal business media in New York. How are you? Thank you very much. Um, you're scheduled for a live radio show. Are you ready for that? What is that? That you're you're scheduled for a live radio show. Right, right. right. I'm ready. All right. I'm just going to verify some basic information. Sh sure. Uh, it is Yogi Santi, uh, Shanti. Desai. Shanti Desai. Okay, and uh, you are the owner of... Uh, Shanti Yoga Institute. Okay, and that is in Egg Harbor Township, New Jersey. Right? Okay. Okay. Um, so basically what's going to happen in a moment is you're going to hear my theme music play. I'm going to ask that you don't talk over that. Sure. And at the end of our show, stay with me on the line, wait for me to come back to the phone, and we will talk after, okay? Sure. All right. Uh, hold on one second, and we will be live. All Business Media presents the Professionals Roundtable. Hear what's hot in the professional world. Timely topics to propel your career to the next level. Professionals Roundtable with Christopher Celery. Exclusively on All Business Media. Welcome back to All Business Media. I'm your host, Christopher Celery. Joining me now from Egg Harbor Township, New Jersey, he is the owner of uh, Shanty Yoga Institute. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Yogi Shanty Desai. To the show. Yogi, yes. welcome. How are you today? Yes, thank you. Oh, you're quite welcome. Thank you for uh, taking a few minutes out of your day to join us. We appreciate it. Yes, sure. And uh, why don't you start us off to tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do. Yes, I have been teaching yoga for the last 50 years. I have studied and then started writing the books. Over the last 42 years, I wrote 17 books. What I found by teaching is that yoga is diluted and distorted. The real thing is getting lost. There is more information available. People are lost in the information. They are in their mind and not in the heart. People don't use common sense. So yoga is more like comparison, competition, doing exercises, mental discipline to control the mind. I am teaching after all these experiences that yoga is simple. You have to be connected with yourself. Let go of all the distractions. These days there is lots of distractions of media, spiritual leaders, religions, uh, politicians and people are hypnotized, they are brainwashed. They don't think, they don't think clearly. Spirituality begins when you think for yourself. And that is what I wrote in the last book, the 17th book, Threefold Path. And that explains the simplified method that anyone can practice at any age. The simplest thing is quieter, to quieten the mind and become introverted. That is yoga. Yoga means unity. Unity of body, mind and spirit. Yoga also unity of the universe. Entire universe is one thing. We are all connected. This is all the scriptures teach. Even quantum physics teaches that entire universe is nothing but empty space. And what is there is only consciousness and energy. And interaction of consciousness and energy makes the entire universe. Today what is happening, we have created division, duality, you and I, you and I, your nation and my nation, your religion and my religion. This is what creates a problem. What I am teaching is unity, integration and it begins by being introverted, finding peace within yourself. Okay? Alrighty. Now, uh... Uh, what kind of background or training uh, did you get, uh, you know, when you first uh, started doing yoga? Yes, I studied with life? my guru in India, Swami Kripalu, and when I was very young, 8, 10 year old. I was initiated when I was 18. I came to this country at the age of 21. I met all the masters and most of my research is subjective research, ex exploring the scriptures, 
meeting the people and experiences and my own meditation, everything I wrote comes from my experience. Most of what is available in the market is borrowed information, intellectual stimulation, nothing practical that one can apply. Okay. All righty. And, uh, you know, um, why, go, why did you go into yoga when you, uh, you know, when you first learned it, when you were... Uh... I came as a student of chemistry. I got master's degree in chemistry, worked for six years. This was my interest from childhood to explore the reality of higher life. This is why my education, working in the industry, we had health food store for 20 years. We had yoga retreat for 40 years. We renounce everything because the goal is the search. To search, you have to simplify life, give up all the material ambitions. So this is what I'm looking in the direction from childhood. It is within me and that is what I have continued my entire life. Alrighty. Now, when somebody does reach out to you for the first time, uh, you know, what are they uh, generally uh, looking for? You know, what are they trying to uh, achieve when they, uh, you know, reach out to you? I usually interact at people at their level. I teach them at their level how to be successful in life, how to find peace. If they're interested in physical aspect, health aspect, in a mental peace aspect, relationship aspect. I handle all these things by being a mirror. Being at their level, I guide them at their own level because this path is very deep involved. And this is why one needs to have compassion to reach people at their level instead of it imposing some teaching on them. Okay? Alrighty, and uh, why do you think they choose you over someone else out there? What's that you apart? What is that? Uh, what's that you? Why do you think they choose you over someone else? Well, why do the why do your uh, clients uh, see you as opposed to going to someone else? Why I'm doing seminar? No. Where do you see yourself in the near future? What's uh, what's up next for you? Yeah, I have found peace, contentment. I have balance material and spiritual life, I can guide people on their path. Alrighty, and uh, how can my audience reach out and contact you if they want to find out more information? Yes, just uh, they can look at my website www.yogishantidesai.com on uh, Amazon, all my books are available. My website has all the testimonial, my life history with pictures, ashram is in Ocean City in Glassboro, health food store, yoga positions, and my teacher training in Iceland. All these are in pictorial form. Okay. All righty. Well, Yogi, it's been great having you on the show today. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you for having me. Uh, you are so welcome. And uh, for everyone else out there, do stick around. Thank we'll you. We'll be right back. Thank All you. Business Media presents. Yogi, great job. Thank you so much. Thank you.